the club shaft is excessively, excessively bendy. So what it really does is it, it kind of creates a situation where for you to hit the ball straight, like I just did there, you have to do a few things. You have to have great timing, you have to have great rhythm, and you have to have a pretty good release as well. So what would happen if we gave this golf club to someone who maybe didn't have those things? Well, what would generally happen, and we see this well, all the time when I give this to a golfer, the first shots they hit will go way off to the right. Now that one was struck pretty well. Distance probably wasn't quite there and it's gone way, way off to the right. So why is that the case? Well, it's all to do with the release and what we do during impact. Just watch what happens if I make a few little goal swings and try and stop my hands at around about this point here. In the, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna stop my hands pretty much in the middle of my legs. Okay, and what you'll actually see is that when I stop my hands, the club head actually overtakes and releases. Now, when that club head is overtaking and releasing, what's the face doing? It's actually starting to, to close. So if I wanted to hit this ball left, what I would do is I could just stop my hands earlier and the ball would go left because what I'm doing is I'm decelerating my hands, which accelerates the club head and starts to rotate the face. So initially, golfers generally can't hit this straight because they're just trying to force everything through as fast as they can. Their hands are going, the body's going, everything's going. They're not decelerating the right segments of the body in the right sequence to accelerate the club head. Um, and we see this in the best golfers in the world. They decelerate as much as they accelerate, and that's really one of the keys why they hit the ball so far. We also have to have a pretty good timing and rhythm. So if I am very, very quick from the top, it really highlights that with this golf club because it's so flexible. So again, it's a really great way of starting to build a great rhythm to your goal swing. And the makers of this club don't say that this is a quick fix. This is not a kind of pick this club up, hit three shots and you're gonna be fixed. They would actually encourage you to make, you know, practice swings at home on a daily basis to get that rhythm, to get that timing. And really the pivot of your body is pretty key to that as well. So, you know, if I have a poor pivot where it's sliding this way and sliding this way, it makes it very difficult to achieve that timing, that rhythm that we're after. It surprises so many golfers how a golf club, this is this flexible, I can hit the ball straight with the right flight and the right distance. And I could, I could play golf with these golf clubs. So when I then go back to my golf club, you know, yes, it feels a little bit strange and it feels a little bit odd, but it starts to help me transfer that good rhythm, that good timing that I just established into my golf swing. You know, for me, these are great products. I've, like I said, I've had the seven iron for, oh, gotta be two years now. Um, you know, it's in my coaching, but I use it for a lot of golfers. Um, the trouble is when I use it in a lesson, you know, it's actually something they need to do at home rather than just in the bay when they have a lesson every two to three weeks. It's really a case of doing the drills at home, getting a feel on how to move this club around your body better, understanding why it goes right, what you can do to stop it going right. And then once we understand those things, we can translate them into a goal swing. And this is a great way to start to improve your release without really having to think too much about it because it's just a case of trying to hit the ball straight. Once you can hit it straight, we know the release is starting to come and we're starting to get those good things happening down at impact. I just caught the G-Force train at eight. It's like the orange whip, only well made. You can hit shots with it, watch the ball fly. A hundred bucks said the first 20 go right. It'll train your rhythm, get your game back to where it used to be and maybe where you never knew. Pit, pit, pick it up, give it a rip. You need another toy, not another tip. Uh.